this song was written about Zara getting high in a nightclub <laughs> and getting into an argument with herself in the mirror because she thought it was someone else. Is that true or false? It's it's not it's not true. It could be true, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> It's your girl, Emily Curl. We're here at our iHeartRadio studios in New York City, and we are hanging out with the one and only Zara Larson is here. Can we give it up for Zara? Yes, you do have a really good cheering crowd today. Yeah, we do. We do. It's so good to be here. Thank uh, you for having me. It's so nice to see yeah. you because we were just talking before this. We've done so many Zoom interviews. Yes. Fan versus yes. artist trivia, catching yep. up on songs. This yep. is our first time actually meeting in person. Yeah, it's really nice to see your face. Yes, you yeah. too. <laughs> and I hope we see a lot more of you coming out because we have a lot of music here. Absolutely. Can't Tamer is out mm -hmm. now. First mm -hmm. and foremost, congratulations. Thank this you song so much. is such a bop. Your fans are loving it. Thank and you. I feel like we're seeing a new era of yeah. Zara. Yeah, it is a new era. What it's era like, are you in right now? I think it's still like a little bit of mix of everything coming up, but this one song, Can't Tamer, is so fun. It's so energetic and uh, it just has like, it gives me a boost of confidence when I listen to it and when I sing it. And yeah. I think that's just what I want to embody this whole year and this whole era is like unapologetic, confident, um, someone who wants to have a lot of fun mm -hmm. and just like enjoy life. And we need that. Yeah. We need yeah. that. Yeah. Let's talk about the music video for a second too because yeah. we open with two different Zaras, we right? Do. We have the duality of the Zaras. Yep, yep, yep. Is that kind of like attuned to your life right now? Like was that a metaphor for you? Yeah, I think it's, you know, what the what the two versions of me represent is that one is like more the regular version of me and then the other one is like the crazier, wilder, um, even more unapologetic and like does whatever she wants. And she kind of lures this uh, regular version of me into a, a space where they all, well, they, the two of them merge together and like become one. And that's like, you know, the message of absorbing uh, a feeling and an emotion of your true self, I guess. And just like letting you express who you truly are to the world. Yeah. yeah. And you're allowed to be complex and yeah. layered and have all yeah. of those things in yeah. there. Yeah. I, I think so. That. There's so there's many Zaras really. Many <laughs> Zaras. <laughs> I, yeah. I feel like often you hear artists say that they have alter egos, like when they perform on stage or when they mm -hmm. get in like a, a zone or in, mm -hmm. you know, when they're dancing for music videos. Do you feel that for you? I don't I don't know. Actually, now when I think about it, I don't see myself like stepping into a character when I'm on stage. Maybe that is like the truest self. Maybe that is like yeah, the true me in a in a weird yeah. way. Um, but like you said, obviously we're all human beings. We're complex. We have a lot of different layers to us. Mm -hmm. But I feel the most confident when I'm on stage, really? singing specifically, like singing and dancing. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm on stage, like I have a really hard time talking, like in between songs. I oh, never really know what to say. Really? Sometimes, yeah. I'm I'm mostly scared of like just babbling away. Sometimes I talk so much. I've had people in the audience that I know that were like, did you have like a technical issue or something with like You're the like, upcoming no, song? I just to yeah, share. Like, blah, 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 blah. Like, <laughs> I just go on and on and on. And um, yeah, sometimes I just, I guess. So you so, don't plan it out before? Like you just sort of feel just, the moment? Yeah. But now lately I'm like, it, it's actually not a bad idea to have sort of a script. Like you have when you, yeah. when you, you know, you have your choreography, you have your words to your songs. Maybe you should have like your words to your talks as well. <laughs> but, what's yeah. so, but I think what's so endearing about you is you are so good with your fans. You're always responding on yeah. TikTok, like on that. Instagram. Like yeah. I feel like that does come naturally to you. Yeah, I do like to have that connection with people. And like, I feel like that is more of a conversation. And I wish I could meet every single person that listens to my music and like, like me and follow me and just like have this moment. Yeah. I feel like it's really important. It is nice that the internet can somewhat bring that to life, you know, mm -hmm. even if it's just a tweet or just a comment or like something to just like, I see you, you yeah. know? Yeah. Speaking of tweets, you have some hilarious fans. They are funny. <laughs> they are funny. They are funny and I love that. They really like have a sense of humor and I like that too. Like I don't th take myself um, too serious and yeah. I think they know that. So they know they can like make jokes with me. And I appreciate that. No, and I love yeah. that too. And a few of them had some theories about Can't Tame Her. Oh, is it? And so I thought I could ask them to you here and you could dispel okay, the myth okay. or you could tell if it's true. Yeah. 
Um, so at Zara Gets Away wants to know, uh -huh. um, she says that this song was written about Zara getting high at a nightclub <laughs> and getting into an argument with herself in the mirror because she thought it was someone else. Is that true or false? It's, it's, not, it's not true. It could be true, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> But I love that. Have theory. you ever have you ever done that before? No, I've never had an. Well, yes, I had to have many arguments with myself, like fake arguments. You but know, never like where it, you thought it was another person. No, no. But <laughs> I pretended. You know, when you're like in the shower and you like have like a fake argument and you like have the best arguments ever. Yes. Um, I've done that quite a few times. Or sometimes I pretend I I like interview myself and I ask myself really really hard questions. Like what? Just Should like, I take notes? Like what do you? <laughs> no, please don't. Please don't. Just what ask do you... me nice things. Don't ask me hard things. Wait, what do you ask? What do you ask yourself? Now I'm so curious. It could be like, why did you, um, you know, in 2013 when you said you were gonna be, and I had to be like, so uh, I think in this political climate, it's really important for us to really like. I have full on like full. <laughs> Wait, that's yeah, I, did, I, did, I did that a lot. I did. So this I'm morning, well prepared. This morning before your press day, did you, did yeah, you have some talks in the mirror? So basically, what I've done with the song is <laughs> like, oh, I'm saying to myself. Wait, that's. Yeah, I think all of us do that. No, a we do. Oh, we like, totally do. Or like, you know, you think back at an argument uh, and you're like, oh, and you should have said it. that. You yeah. Reword, yeah. So it's not too far off. Okay, so yeah. it's <laughs> Okay, we have another one that this one also made me laugh. Um, so we had another fan speculate that the uh -huh. video, yeah. obviously it takes place in an elevator at the beginning, yeah. Yeah. speculated that this video came from you being caught hooking up in an elevator. <laughs> no, it's not true either. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> These I fans are just running wild just, on, I on Twitter. I love it when they lie on me, just completely, <laughs> just complete lies. Okay, yeah. so, okay, but you also said you lied about this. Another fan tweeted, your new album is coming very soon, and you responded and said, I lied. Yeah. So can you tell us anything about that? I think like soon is, subjective okay you know like what's what, soon, is, what what's, is soon what mean is to you soon? what does soon, soon mean to me i think soon to me it means like it's coming it's coming we yeah. know that's happening yeah like soon means it's like saying oh the other day oh that's funny like i saw that the other day like do you mean the other day or do you mean a like a, you know a few ago, soon right? means definitely definitely this year Ooh, okay so absolutely yeah yeah 2023 um and then i still have you know i'm gonna work can't tame her i hope that's gonna do as well as possible and then i'll have uh another single set to be released and then we'll kind of see like what's happening throughout the summer, but mm. the album is, you know, the framework of it is there. I would say it just needs a little mix, mixing and mastering. Okay. And just to make it like nice and shiny and make it sound amazing. But I'm I'm pretty much there. So, so exciting. Yeah. So exciting. So this year. We yeah. also had another fan ask if you'll be releasing acoustic versions of some of your songs, which Ooh. I like this question because yeah. I did see you singing Can't Tamer acoustically. It's yeah. amazing. It took on a whole different vibe. Totally. I agree. Like when we did that, I was like, wow, this feels really good. So yeah. that is not something um, that I would say no to. Maybe, you know, I'll speak to my manager. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So last thing I've got to ask you is your Can't Tamer TikTok dance, which is so fire. You, you know, we've been practicing. <laughs> You've been practicing? Let's go. Yeah, and I'm Let's terrible. Go. I'm terrible. It's a little, no, we're, we're ready. We're, so we're going to do this yeah. after this. But yeah. um, it's so good. Thanks. And so many people responded to it. Have you, I'm so curious, have you always been a dancer? Is that kind of natural? I've, yeah, I've been dancing it? a lot. I've been okay. dancing a lot when I grew up. And I haven't done that in a while, but I think because I did it so much growing up, it's like in me. I like there's been so many people using my song for their TikToks over the past couple of days. Like it's close to like 200,000 now, which is insane. It's insane, yeah. Um, and I want to see more people dance to it. Yeah. Oh, so I maybe it. I should put out I should put out more dance videos. Okay, to because it. we actually want to get yeah. a few of our, our crew members in a second too to, to do the dance if you're down for that after it? this. So we have we we're ready. I'm so ready. And I also this brings me back to your vi music video because I wanted to ask you that logistically at the end yeah. of it we yeah. see the two Zaras mm -hmm. dancing together. Mm -hmm. I, I'm so curious. Was that done? Was that both of your parts? Did you have a body double dancing with I you? I did have a body double. Did you? Yeah. How did you find she your body amazing. double? Does she look like you? Um, she she had like the same. What I wanted was like same kind of hair okay and like length and body type because you don't really see her face because every time there's like a shot of my face you know she would 
be dressed. We we did all of it like twice. So all of it was like her being the regular Zara and then all of it being the me. And oh. then it's just how you would like angle it. So we would think, we, we did think of like, let's do um, like the VFX where you would just copy paste like the face. But sometimes that doesn't really come across yeah. looking natural. So uh, it also took a long time to just make that video because it's beautiful and it's totally. so like, sexy and mysterious but it's in its way like quite simple but it took like a, a, a long time because you need to do all of the things like double um but mm. she was great she was so sweet barbara love, love barbara. you yeah <laughs> yeah because the choreography really was so insane that, that you yeah. two that's why i couldn't figure out yeah how, it's so really smart smart mate how long did it take you to like nail that like the like the rehearsals um well the rehearsal was quite quite quick we had like a day where we just went through you know all the shots and like what we would do and then we did some rehearsal maybe like a, a couple of hours um but the shooting day was you know a full a full a full day yeah yeah full a day and a half a day really. and a half. yeah oh my gosh well it looks amazing yeah. the video Thank is you. out now make yes. sure you go watch it and go stream can't tamer zara this has been so fun your so first fun. interview of the day thank yes. you so much for being here can you do it one more time me. for zara <laughs> Dan Tamer is out now. Go listen to it on iHeartRadio and we will see you next time, Zara. Thank you. Thank you. That was so fun. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.